I first met him in 1947, and I met him through uh, Donora, who was then his his stepdaughter, of course, whom I eventually married. So then I married Donora. I was sort of a family member as well as a, a pupil. And later, she took me to his little flat where he was living, and I saw these enormous paintings on the wall. And that was really my introduction to her. And I discovered, you see, that he taught at the Borough Polytechnic and didn't just have life classes, had a day, two day classes as well, and I asked him if I could join. Well, Bomberg's approach was quite different. It was free. It didn't have rules. This was really how he was so different, I think, from other teachers, that his sort of teaching was really that one didn't have to go through the whole academic thing in order to experiment. Um, people used to be quite critical about us in the Borough Group, and they used to say, that's all very well what you're doing, but you've, you've got to go through the mill first. And Bomberg said, no, that's not necessary. And in fact, it's contrary, really, because you can get sort of caught in bad habits. You can, you, you can begin to think that these academic rules, which, which they force on you, are things which you have to observe, and you don't. You can start from here. You don't have to get all sorts of diplomas before you can. I think what was absolutely unique about him as a teacher um, was that he made available to us his own sort of, if you like, in-depth philosophy about it all. And this is something which you never got from any other teacher. You could say that there was a certain wrong reason about this, because I've, I feel quite sure he wanted to have a school, you know, a school of Bomberg, and that he wanted us to be apprentices. He was then very disheartened, I think, about his own complete lack of recognition. And he thought that by being a teacher and teaching us, this, this would be the way in for him, that we would be sort of seen later. And then it would all come back and they said, where's it come from? It's Bomberg. It didn't happen like that, of course. <laughs>